kind of like a simulated pole vault, okay? When Joe Johnston was 15, he pole vaulted for the first time. The rest is history? Well, the rest is my life. I, <laughs> I've vaulted ever since. Whoa! Now, at 72 years old, Joe pole vaults nearly every day. I might wake uh, up 10 o'clock at night and be out here. I've done that. He practices in this backyard facility he built called the Joe Dome. Put down concrete and started buying some boards, and there it is. He also trains people interested in the sport. I'm kind of like the Johnny Appleseed of pole vault, and I want everybody to do it because it's fun. And he swears it's easy. Always land on the big soft thing. And everything else, you know, just as long as you do that, you're good. Test it. Because actually pole vaulting on your first trip to the Joe Dome isn't recommended, we did some drills to help me get a feel for it. Hoo -ah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and even though he loves it so much, the Joe Dome has seen better days. You know, we got holes in it, you see it's leaking, and the, and the critters think it belongs to them, and so, you know, I just have to fight for space. So and Joe wants to start over and build a new indoor facility, but... According to Orange County's uh, zoning codes, I can only have a thousand square foot of accessory building, and this thing would be 5,000 square feet. Kind of like saying you can have a possum, but you can't have an elephant. You know, it's too big. I don't, I don't know how to deal with this. If I'm not jumping high enough, I know what to do. I can, I can work, but... I, uh. He's looking for solutions, but isn't giving up. Like most things in my life, it don't happen quite as quick as I want it to, but it'll happen. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm Kayla O'Brien.